What's up guys, this is a quick introductory to how to write your own man page in uh, Linux. So what I got here is my uh, text editor, I'm using Emacs, but you can use uh, any text editor that you like of your own choice. So uh, in order to write a man page you got to use a special kind of syntax called uh, G-R-O-F-F, -F, or um, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, and uh, it looks kind of like this. So uh, this this uh, manual page is for a, a simple script that I wrote that called uh, touchpad, which just uh, enables or disables the touchpad depending on input. So if I take a look at this, uh, this page is called touchpad.8. It looks uh, it looks like that, this. So this is the working example of this code here. So uh, it kind of looks like a man manual page. So this is. A the actual syntax you can look up in the um, on on this page. If you, for example, is looking for a, s a special kind of symbol, you can just Control F and uh, yeah, look it up. What ex what exactly it does. And uh, also, I got uh, pretty good working examples, which I'll paste in the um, description section later. So uh, the the most basic elements are the. Um, the first one is the comments. So if you write like this, it's a, it's a dot slash and then a um, this one here. So I don't. I'm not sure if you need the um, the slash character. I think that's an escape character, but uh, it works anyway. So you should probably use it. And uh, then there is a dot th section, which is the header of the ma uh, manual page. So if I look in the manual page, it's uh, the uppermost section right here, and also uh, kind of as you can see, they're pasting it on different places. So, for example, touchpad, blah blah blah. This is used here, and uh, this is the date I'm using. It's used here. Uh, yeah. So uh, it's it's one, two, three, four sections. And uh, in order to write these bolded sections here, you use the dot. SH syntax and then whatever you want to call it, so I could write like this here and uh, if I run it again you'll see that it's, it's this text here, however you should probably use the, um, the standard uh, sections like name, description and options and yeah, whatever you see in the manual pages so uh, in order to be recognized so uh, that's the most basic parts and if you want to write uh, these sections here you can use the IP and then whatever here ends up here and uh, the important thing to remember here is that you got to separate them by by a line break like this because otherwise they won't work and uh, that's pretty much it for the for the basic syntax as, as I said you can look, look up uh, for specific settings on on the uh, things I will paste later. So uh, if I want to use this manual page, then I uh, got to copy it into the right directory. So if I start by typing man path like this, I get my uh, my shared uh, man path libraries, and they're separated by a semicolon like this. So here's one, and here's another one, and here's this other one. So I want to copy my into the user share man. So uh, if I go to this directory first, like this, and then I ls, so I see all the folders. You can see that they're separated into folders like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these numbers are referring to what kind of programs you're uh, building. So, for example, I'm building a system administration tools and daemons. So, I'm using the number 8. And that's why the file is called touchpad.8 also. Uh, so, you gotta um, adapt that to your situation if you're writing user commands or which mine probably should be, and uh, or system calls or whatever. So, uh, that's why I'm calling my touchpad.8 like this. So first off I want to zip that file with gzip like this gzip and then uh, the name of a file 
so in my case it'll be like this and I already got one so I'm going to replace it uh, and then I want to copy that file into the appropriate folder in my case man8 so I type like this copy touchpad.8 dot dot uh, so like that and then it's a user share man man it uh, I wrote it wrong. Yeah, and you gotta use sudo here because otherwise it's not gonna like it. Like that. So now now I should be able to use the man page like this. Yeah, and there we go. This is my uh, global man page in my system. So that's pretty much the basic uh, functionality about man pages. Hope you enjoyed the video.